forget Latin America. We had this lesson in Cuba, in the Soviet Union. We have a lesson in California for the rest of the country. I mean, this place is turning into a hellhole, right? And everybody's standing around going, well, if you do the same thing California did, maybe it'll be different. Isn't it always weird that so many of these conservatives say, oh, California's a hellhole? Then, bitch, why are you living there? Tommy Laren just moved there, or Tommy Laren just moved there recently. California, the attempt to say that California is a hellhole is total bullshit. California is a very nice place, and it's fucking awesome, and you know it, and that's why you live there. So that, that's, that's number one. As far as the Obamacare argument, my optimistic vision of what's going to happen with Obamacare is that I think Obamacare is actually going to be the death of government-run medicine. What an unbelievably shitty prediction. Making a prediction this stupid is unbelievable. And, you know, I had this kind of epiphany moment where I was scrolling through Twitter and I was looking at, you know, all the tweets. And it was at the time where Obamacare was trying to, they were, the Republicans were trying to repeal Obamacare. And the CBO was releasing their estimates showing that, you know, 20 to 30 million people would lose their health insurance. And then I realized in that moment, it kind of clicked with me. I'm like, shit. These fuckers cannot win the, the battle of healthcare because every time that it comes up, you're going to have CBO reports saying that they're going to be, that millions of people are going to lose their health insurance. And there's no way that they can battle that off. So it is quite the opposite. And also, you know, when it comes to things like Social Security, which has been in place over 80 years, Medicare, Medicaid, which is put in place by Linda B. Johnson. Once those things are put in place, you're not taking them out, dude. You're not going to be able to take them out because you're going to lose your constituency is going to be lost. And everybody knows that. Because it'll take a little while, but it'll happen. Because what's going to happen is the reimbursement rates from Medicare and Medicaid are going to be so low, doctors are going to stop accepting it. Mm -hmm. And instead, they're going to start accepting cash. And the insurance companies are going to be bankrupted, which is, which is sad because people do need catastrophic health insurance coverage. But people are going to start doing their normal, their normal hospital visits in cash. Yeah, no, this is complete bullshit. Remember, Obamacare's been put in place in 2010, so it's been eight years now. And the Medicare and Medicaid reimbursement rates that he's talking about, those are going, we are trying to make sure that those reimbursement rates do stay up. And that's why you see things like the government, you know, making the cost for the doctors less and trying to incentivize that. And the only way that Obamacare dies out is if you guys repeal it or you destroy it from within by doing things like repealing the individual mandate. Again, the Medicaid expansion got millions of people health insurance. You know, all of this kind of craziness that he's talking about is not really going to happen. It's a bunch of bullshit. My wife's a doctor, and what's my wife's a doctor, and what's my wife's a doctor, and what's my wife's a doctor, and what's. I think Obamacare is, unfo is, is gonna leave a lot of people in the lurch because the costs are gonna be high and the insurance company's gonna go bankrupt. But in the end, you'll end up with a cash system and then we'll revolve, devolve back to a, a private system. It's been happening, by the way, in Canada and in Britain and in Israel. Is this is black market system that, that is completely, it's like a shadow system that exists. Like if you have cancer, you don't go to the public health care system in Canada. You find a black market system and you go find somebody who actually knows what they're doing. So this is a really crazy claim saying that there's this kind of black market health care system. And I tried looking up anything about black market health care systems in Canada or the UK. And all that came up was instead the black market for information, health care information. Basically hackers trying to get health care information not actual systems where they're probably, you know, these black market doctors who, you know, in an alley go, hey, dude, you want to come get this, you know, this surgery? Like, no, that doesn't fucking happen. It's a bunch of bullshit. And recall that Britain first put in universal health care in 1948. That's when it went into effect. So again, the idea that now 60 years later, it's finally just on the brink of, of, you know, it's finally just on the brink of coming away. That's such bullshit. Nothing is happening in Israel. Nothing is happening in Britain. And Canada had put in single payer health care somewhat recently. So it's still working out the kinks in terms of things like different things like wait times and figuring it out. But the system in Canada, I believe it's seven. 75% of all services are actually done through the private system, but it's a single payer healthcare system, which means that it's funded from the government, but it's a vast majority of it is done privately. So this is again, a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of kind of scare tactics and fear mongering as they constantly do. Oh, and really quickly, I just wanted to say that uh, the number of primary care doctors per 1,000 people, Germany has 4.1, France is 3.1, UK is 2.8, US is 2.6, and Canada is 2.5. And recall that all three that are ahead of the US all have universal healthcare systems, and it goes in order of 
uh, length of how long they've had it. Germany's had it since Otto von fucking Bismarck. Hospital beds per 1,000 people. Germany has 8.2. France is 6.2. U.S. has 2.9. U.K. is 2.7. Canada is 2.7. Again, the two that are massively ahead, just fucking beating the shit out of them in the race, have had, they have universal healthcare, and they've had it for a hot minute now. So, I just wanted to point that out.